Good morning. Welcome to another Morning Minute Meditation with us here at the Higher Grounds Podcast. We started talking uh, last devotion about the subject of continuing and finishing. And the Word of God has much to say about not just starting and how we start, but also about finishing the race that God has put us in. Uh, we talked about being steadfast, unmovable. Uh, I want to look today, when I look at the epistles of the Apostle Paul, one thing the Apostle Paul did was that he mentioned people who had aided him and helped him in the ministry. Now, there were those that did him wrong and there were those that hurt him. And we'll cover that just a little later on. But what I'm interested in is how Paul called some of them by name who helped him, who labored with him. He mentions many of those in Romans 16. But I want to talk about in 2 Timothy chapter 1 and verse 16, the Bible said, The Lord give mercy unto the house of Onesiphorus, for he oft refreshed me and was not ashamed of my chain. But when he was in Rome, he sought me out very diligently and found me. So here Paul is, he's, he's in a jail, he's been suffering for the cause of Christ and for what he'd done for the Lord. And this man is seeking the apostle Paul out to refresh him. The word refresh there means to cool again, to cool off. In the heat of the battle, it's good for the, thank God for those who cool us off or bring a fresh drink of water per se to our spirit. It means to refresh or to recover. If we're gonna finish, uh, a lot of times we look at those um, who hurt us or something didn't turn out just right. But Onesephorus dedicated his life to encouraging the Apostle Paul. And one thing that you can do to help you finish is by investing your life into helping others. It's not about us. It's not about self. The servant's mentality is it's not about me. It's about Christ. So I want to encourage you today, whether it be those in your church, your pastor, your people, or those who are fellow laborers with you, find somebody and let the Lord use you to refresh their spirit. God bless. Have a great day.